Hello everyone, welcome to Sonology. I am Sonaz and today I want to show you how to formulate it with a very gorgeous ingredient that is almost effective for almost all skin conditions and also every skin type. So this ingredient called niacinamide. Niacinamide is a type of vitamin B. It's actually vitamin B3. So um, niacinamide can do lots of things for our skin. So if you have eczema, if you have aged skin, if you have dry skin, if you have rosacea, which is a kind of redness on the skin, um, or if you have acne from the skin or large pores. So for all of these conditions, niacinamide have some effect. Um, let's, let's read some of the effects of niacinamide in our skin. One of them is that niacinamide will help our skin to produce ceramide. So ceramide is a part of the skin barrier. So it will help us to have much healthier skin barrier. So we will not lose lots of water if we have a healthier skin barrier. Um, another effect of niacinamide is minimizing um, the redness and bleachiness. So in the um, problem called rosacea, that people have red skin in, in different conditions, um, by the anti-inflammatory effect of niacinamide, we will have less redness in our skin. Um, another effect of niacinamide, which is really helpful in oily and also combination skin, uh, would be the effect of niacinamide in reducing the size of the pores which is a really good effect um, for people with oily skin or a combination of skin. Um, another effect that niacinamide has is uh, protect against sun damage. So um, it's really good that if you add 5% uh, niacinamide to your formulation, you're going to see another effect called uh, with using the hyperpigmentation, um, so which is a really good, so if you have dark spots, but definitely not cinnamide would be a really great ingredient to add to your formulation um, because this ingredient can help our skin to um, produce collagen which is a great effect for people with uh, wrinkles and also fine lines or people with aged skin so this ingredient can help people by using more than two months to see the effect of reducing the lines or fine lines uh, so, as I said, there are lots of effects of uh, using niacinamide in our skin. It's better to use it more than 5%. Um, and there are some kind of tips and tricks if you want to formulate niacinamide. Let's make it and I will show you tips and tricks. Okay, let's start with a heat resistance beaker. Uh, we're gonna start our water phase. Our water phase, with, as we'll, we'll start with our powders. And I start with uh, diapantanol. Diapantanol in our formulation is 2% that will add to our water phase. Then I add allantoin as another homoactant to our formulation as 0.5% and then water. Water is 35.5% in my formulation. Then I add um, N-acetyl glucosamine. So N-acetyl glucosamine is a really great ingredient in uh, combination with niacinamide if you want to get uh, the highest effect of using niacinamide in your formulation. And uh, this N-acetyl glucosamine will come in by 2% in my formulation. Then I add niacinamide. Niacinamide is 5% in my formulation. As I said, you will get effect by add more than 5% of niacinamide to your formula, but it's better just keep it up to 5, not more than that. In our water phase, another ingredient that we have is uh, hyaluronic acid. So hyaluronic acid coming by 2% in my formulation. It's a solution of 1% hyaluronic acid uh, that I made it before. Another ingredient for our water phase is aloe vera extract. So aloe vera extract is 10% for my formulation. I forgot to tell you that it will be 100 gram batch. Then I add sodium lactate by 3% in my formula. Another ingredient that I add to my water phase is 2% propanediol. Now let's uh, keep it on the side and work with our oil phase. 
for the oil phase I start with cetyl alcohol. Cetyl alcohol would be 2% in my formulation. Then I add glycerid starat. Glycerid starat coming by 2% in my formula. Another ingredient which is really important is my emulsifier. And I use emulsifying wax or cola wax for my formulation. It's coming by 3% in my formula because I want to have a very light lotion. And then I add uh, my um, oil, which is um, a squalene by 3% in my formulation. Now it's better to cover these liquors and put them in bain marie and then uh, wait for 20 minutes and then mix these two phases together. But before I start the bain marie phase, I just wait my water phase to find out if any water evaporated and then we can um, actually replace this evaporated water. Now after Bambari, we again um, wait the water phase to find out if we lost any water and then we replace it and we will continue our formulation. Now it's time to mix these two faces together and put our and use our stick blender to mix all the faces completely together. I use the stick blender for a couple of minutes and to find out um, if we need, it, need some more blending. Um, as you can see, the formulation is too hot and um, it's really runny. It's better to check the temperature and if it is more than 40, we have to wait a little bit to start our cool down phase. I wait for almost 10 minutes. Again, I start stick blending to find uh, the, the exact te texture that they want to have for my formulation. As you can see, this is almost the final texture that we have for our formula, which is a really good and light texture for our lotion. Um, now it's time to add our cool-down phase, but it's better before starting the cool-down phase, it's better to check the temperature. If it is below 40, we can start our cool-down phase. Yes, it's okay to start our cool-down phase. So for the cool-down phase, I start with my uh, preservative, which is um, half a percent liquid gamma plus, and then vitamin E, which is 0.5 percent and then some active ingredients that I want to add to my formula. You can add all any active uh, in your cooldown phase to have a better effect while making your lotion. I really like the final texture and by the essential oil that I add to my formula, the smell is really great. Now it's time to check the pH. The point here is that for the products that have niacinamide inside, it's better to have pH more than 5. So pH between 5 to 5.5 would be the target pH for our formulation. So if you have pH lower than this um, 5 to 5.5, you have to level up the pH. Yes, my pH is less than 5, so I use a sodium hydroxide um, solution to um, add some drops in my formulation uh, to level up the pH to 5 or between 5 to 5.5.
When you want to change pH in any of your formulation, it's better to take your time, give your formulation some time to um, be in a good level of pH because all the formulation needs some time to get the results from um, the pH of the products that we will add to them. Yes, now our pH is more than 5, which is a really good pH for products with niacinamide. And now it's time to package our product. I use the 50 gram uh, jar for my lotion. And yeah, we made the product with niacinamide. It's a kind of um, cosmeceutic ingredient that we add to our formulation. So we're going to get lots of great results by using niacinamide in our face. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. And have a good day!